This is the G7 Nashville Capo. Now most spring capos have a number of problems. They can be really hard to operate, they can pull your strings out of tune, they tend to have a thick rubber pad which can deaden the tone of your guitar and as well as that they can be pretty ugly. A Nashville capo has a fairly light action and this is because I've moved the pivot point closer to the point of contact with the back of the neck so that we've got increased leverage and at the same time I've reduced the strength of the spring so that you've got enough tension on the strings to fret them but not so much that it pulls them out of tune. The rubber pads on the Nashville Capo are made of silicon rubber which is virtually inert so it won't damage the finish on your guitar. And as well as that, although you can't see it, the thickness of the rubber pad between the metal and your strings is not very much. It's uh, about two and a half millimeters and it's much narrower so that you can get a crisper tone with better sustain. And then when I'm not using it, I can just drop it onto my peg head. Then as well as the six string acoustic and electric guitar capos in the Nashville range, we have a classical guitar or flamenco guitar capo with the longer flat bar. In the Nashville range, we've got the silver version and then we've got a black version and we've got 18 karat gold plated one, which is a really nice gift. And then all of them have that classic G7th styling, so they look great on any guitar.